talking about here this morning. As president, yes. uh, he did try to overturn a legitimate election. He called January 6 rioters hostages and promised to pardon them. He is charged with keeping classified documents and obstructing attempts to get them back. Uh, and on the campaign now, he's arguing that presidents should have total immunity, even if they, quote, cross the line. How is that law and order? Well, he has a legal team that can answer the questions of the legal challenges that he faces. But what I can tell you is that when you look around the cities, when you grow up in poor communities like I did, and you watch the crime ravishing your communities, you ask yourself, what president has allowed that to happen? It's Joe Biden. When you have DAs around the country that says it's no longer a crime to steal $1,000 worth of goods, and those stores start closing in San Francisco and across the country, you ask yourself, yeah. what what president allowed that lawless behavior to continue? That's Joe Biden. You and ask yourself, who can restore Senator. the kind of law and order in our nation to allow it to go forward? That would be Donald Trump. Senator, I, I understand that you're talking about Joe yes, Biden, uh, but, I, but I do want to get your thoughts in a more fulsome way on Donald Trump because your endorsement uh, was a big deal and is a big deal. I just want to take one of the examples that I gave. Donald Trump calls the January 6th rioters hostages. You were at the Capitol that day. You said that you took off your jacket, you pulled was... up your sleeves, <clears throat> and you were prepared to defend yourself, quote, presumably until I died. Would you call the people yes. who are now facing prosecution hostages? I would say that every single person facing our justice system should have justice done. The facts and the evidence in each individual case matters. I have confidence that that process will play out. Here's what I said also in the book that I wrote. I talked about January the 6th because I'm one of the few people who was actually there. With the people outside, 99% of the people who showed up were there to exercise their First Amendment rights. What I said then is what I'll say now. I don't hold those people uh, at harm. I don't hold them responsible for the actions of a few. I do hold the few right. responsible. So the no few who are so people the, have to be responsible for themselves. So the, the uh, to use your words, the few who are uh, being prosecuted, yes. going through the justice system, would you call them hostages? I believe that our Department of Justice should continue yeah. and allow a jury of their peers to make the decisions. That's America. So, so just to be clear, and I want to move on, you disagree with Donald Trump calling them hostages, sounds like. Just for the third time. Yes, I believe that we okay. should have confidence 